Hey everybody, I want to share something today that I kind of came up with. So I work at a golf course and have a lot of different size wheels and tires. So I do have a tire machine which is great. Some places don't have it. They have these big mechanical ones like this little one I'm showing you here. And you run into a problem with the bigger machines when you get to these little tiny tires. And most of the time I'm trying to crank it in a vise uh, it's just too too small to fit in the tire machine and you, the jaws that come in to hold the wheel don't come in far enough so they sell these little mini tire machines which are great for anything from like small mowers um, wheelbarrow wheels and things like that so we got ours from Northern Tool and here's the box and it came in, I don't really do unboxing videos, I don't like it um, so it's out of the box already. So here it is, a little tire machine and this is the mount for it. You hook it down to a bench like this and whatever you feel like bolting it to. You really got to hold it down somehow because you're going to put a little force to it to, to work in your wheel and tire. So I was thinking wouldn't it be cool if I could hook it into my tire machine somehow and now it can turn because when you're working on these things and I should have gone over the parts that comes with this is a bead breaker that's a tire tool and these are the tools to hold down your wheel bushings, spacers, whatever you want to call them the top nut so I thought it would be cool if I could figure out how to put this in my tire machine somehow get it held somewhat centered so I could step on my uh, floor lever and the tire turns just like if I'm working on a larger one and then hold the tool still. So here's what I came up with here. Um, number one, this has a pin that goes through it and I don't know where I put it right now but it's got a, it's like one of those pins like just like this one here and it's got a, um, a compression ball in the end and it, you could pull it out and then get this out of here. So, but it's pretty wiggly, and this screw is wiggly too. But once you have your tire locked in, that should hold still better. So what I did, I, I did drill a hole down here. It lets the thing fall down a little lower and rest on itself. And I drill the hole to hold the 3 h bolt, and then I'm going to send that through and I'm going to tighten it up so it, it's locked in place. So let me show you next how, well first before I show you next, I, I had a little trouble thinking of what could I possibly mount this to in my tire machine. What is round enough? I need something round made out of steel. Now I could cut something, it would take me a long time. First of all, I got to find something thick enough. Now, you, now I don't really have the equipment like a, a laser cutter or anything like that. It's going to make a perfect circle, and so when it, the machine grips it, it's not you know moving orbital too much. So I couldn't figure anything out for a while, and I kept thinking, well, well, all kinds of ideas popped in my head, manhole covers and everything, but they're way too big. Where would I get one? I thought of plumbing parts, everything. So I'm working on this car that got hit, and I had a couple doors that I bought in a scrap yard, a, a salvage yard. And they were still pulling the parts when I got there. So I'm standing there and I'm waiting for my parts. And you know how these places are, there's, there's uh, pieces of cars all, all over the place, you know, engine heads, transmissions, all kinds of things. As you're looking around, things sticking out of the mud. I look down. And all of a sudden I see a flywheel for a car, an engine. And I said, why did I think of that? Flywheel. It's perfectly round to start with. All you need is a, a, a metal flywheel, which none of them are made out of wood or anything. So I have a couple extras being a hoarder and a redneck that I am. So I go home and I go through my flywheel collection and I found an automatic flex plate off the Chevy. And that's perfect. And I'll show you that right about now. So let's have a look. Okay, like I said, I'm standing in the junkyard and uh, looking around and I look down and see that flywheel. But uh, before I get uh, into that, I just want to show you something about this machine. You know how they work. If 
they go grab the wheel from the outside here. All right, it may be see better there. Okay, and you send it in, and it grips the wheel. It stops where the wheel center, and it's and it's squeezing it hard. Now this is the limits of this machine. There's two places: one back here, one back here. I found that because there's a little more track, I figured a way to get more of a close grip for smaller wheels is send a 3 8 bolt through the clip, the uh, stop hole for this, and then grip it again. So each one of these would be like in about like something like that. And now I can get a smaller wheel. And when it pushes back, it pushes back when you're gripping the wheel. It wants to push back. It's pushing back against the bolt. And on this particular machine, I have enough track that it's not going to tear up. So you'll see again, I take the bolt out, and there's the stop hole. Okay. So just a little tip I came up with. Now, like I said, I was in the junkyard, standing there, looking around, and I see the flywheel. And all of a sudden, the light bulb went off. So I went home and I looked in my collection, and here's the 350 flywheel you see that it grips really nice okay nice and centered they're never perfectly centered even with a regular wheel it's there's a little bit of oscillation it's nothing so here's our little tire machine and I didn't do anything crazy with measuring and all that I just kind of set it on there use these holes for kind of a uh, reference point Moved it back and forth, maybe measured a little bit with a ruler from the edge to, to the triangle, and then came up with a spot I felt good about, marked the holes, drilled uh, half inch holes. And now I'm going to bolt it down, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. The little tire machine's bolted down, so we're going to put it in. And like earlier, I told you I did drill this hole and instead of using here and it has a little movement yet I'd have to really squeeze it but it's all right it's think about this you're normally doing this with brute force and ignorance in your vice so how much difference is it going to make if it's a little off center on your tire machine really nothing but let's have a look how it's running around and this is loose too this bolt it doesn't fit very tight so don't look at that but it's pretty good so I got it bolted down and if you make your holes a little loose, you can always move it around a little bit. So, now, I haven't even bothered to read the instructions on this. I've used these, old, these type of machines before. In this particular application, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you a wheel from a wheelbarrow. It's already, the, we, the bead's already broken. I'm not going to go into how to use these tools. So, you, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube with how to operate this fully. So I'm not going to go into that. You can go there and look at it. Most of you probably already know anyway. So we're going to just focus on showing you how to do this. So we have our parts and this is this would go down into a, a wheel with a bigger fit because it's tapered but it's not going to. These things just simply take up space so you're not twisting this on all day. And we're just going to do a simple dismount on This has a tube in it. The tire is very cracked. I'm sure there's a, maybe with the tools that are provided, there's maybe some way you're supposed to turn this tight. Now, the point again was I could use my tire machine parts to, to dismount these tires and wheels. So, Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take our scoop in, put it in. I don't care if I tear the tube, it's just a piece of junk. It's coming right off. It's turning instead of me working my way around the tire. Okay? Now, normally with a tube tire, you pull your tube out at this point. So, I am just going to try to pull it off. Go right underneath both. Okay, 
and there you have it. See, I could now mount my new tire and wheel up with the same equipment this, this machine has on it. Like I said, the machines are all different. A lot of times these, there's all different kinds that are like this. A turntable that turns like this and locks down your wheel this way. If you have something different, perhaps uh, you could think of a way to, to do the same kind of thing I did. So then let's just pretend I had a new wheel and it's all done. And we just take our parts off. Oops. Take it off. Release our tire machine, put it somewhere else for safekeeping. Put the parts back on so you don't lose them. And that's it. We're all good to go. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching.